this is really a young man that really needs no introduction. But before we get into what he did this year and why I think he's going to go as high as he's going to go in the draft, let's just talk about his awards. 2021 AP Player of the Year. 2021 Consensus All-American. 2021 Davey O'Brien Award. 2021 Heisman Trophy winner. 2021 Manning Award. 2021 Maxwell Award. 2021 SEC Offensive Player of the Year. And that was last year as a sophomore. <laughs> now he's a junior, just completed his junior season. And I'm really going to go through these stats real quick. And I'm just going to only tell you stuff that he was in the top 10 in, either in the NCAA or the SEC. Pass completions, 2021, number three in the nation. 2021, number two in the SEC. 2022, number six. Passing attempts, 2021. He was number three in the nation, number two in the SEC. This year, he was number six in the SEC. Completion percentage. He was number five in the SEC last year, number nine in the SEC this year. Passing yards. 2021, he was second in the NCAA, first in the SEC. This year, he was third in the SEC. Adjusted passing yards per attempt last year, number six in the NCAA and number three in the SEC. Number three in the SEC. This year, number seven in the NCAA, number two in the SEC. It's a, a whole litany of stats I could go on, like passing TDs. Last year, he was number two and number one in the SEC. This year, he was number 10 in the NCAA and number two in the SEC. It's a whole list of things we could go, down, go on down to. But just let's get to the film because we know who Bryce Young is. We all see him on Saturdays. Let's just dive in. I'm going to give you seven plays about what I really like about Bryce Young and his 2022 film. Nothing from 2021, his hiding campaign, all recently because we know here is what have you done for me lately. All right, let's take a look at Bryce's first play. I have about seven clips that we're going to go through and kind of try to highlight the things that I like about Bryce Young the most. And Zero is going to blitz from his safety position. Bryce sees him. He's just waiting. This little shuffle, he's just trying to buy time. I think he initially thought he was going to shoot the gap in the middle between 14 and whatever that lineman is. But he kind of watched Bryce drift to try to buy a little bit more time for that route to come open. Sees it open to a point where he can get rid of it, and he just takes the shot. Now, to coincide, and you see the catch right there, but to coincide with it, look at how much the drift helps him. This is the initial guy here. Let me see if I can spotlight him real quick. This is the guy that he's going to drift to to try to get to see. The little drift gives him just enough time to stick that foot in the ground, and once he sticks the foot in the ground, he knows he can deliver it. But he got to drift so he can get to the top of his route. Drifts, drifts, drifts. He sticks that foot in the ground. Now he know he can deliver it. Strike. And as you can see right here, when he turns it loose, strike. In stride. While taking the lick. Standing strong in the pocket. Let's go to the next one. Now we're versus LSU. They're in cover one also. Alabama saw a lot of men this year. Especially in the games I watched. Just throwing strikes. A lot of his tape is is, is of these plays right here. When they give him time, he just sit in the pocket and throw strikes. You're going to watch him go through his progressions right here. Again, LSU's in cover one. Nothing there. Go to the middle. Nothing over the middle. Go left. There it is. Now you guys got to buy time for it to get there. Again, don't have don't have those fidgety feet. Didn't have those fidgety feet. Let me get back to it. Hold on. Just watch. Not there. None there. Come left. Nothing there. Now he knows that he's probably going to go left. Look at his footwork. Nothing fidgety. Just kind of pounds the pavement. Pounds the pavement. Pounds the pavement. Still. While they're closing in, he doesn't know 18's back there, but he got a guy definitely in his face. He don't panic, sets his feet, delivers a, another strike. <laughs> He's pretty darn accurate. But we ain't, I, we ain't even got to the, the accurate throw yet that, that I'm going to show you. That really made me stand get out of my seat. Let's go to the third play. Again, versus LSU. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the video, but I just noticed this. 
<laughs> I just noticed this. Hold on, let me find it. Look, they using the scoreboard as <laughs> cup holders right here. <laughs> Good old Baton Rouge, baby. Good old Baton Rouge. Bring this guy in motion. I'm really just trying to get information. Unless he was wrong, lined up in the wrong spot. We're trying to get information. And again, they're going to get man coverage again. Let's see. Nobody's open. That guy's not open. That guy's not open. Three's not open. Four three's not open. Now, Bryce Young is about to extend the play, which is what I think he's best at. Right now, you, you really can't see him because there's a cluster up in here um, uh, right around the eye. But Bryce Young is right. Let's see if I can point him out for you. He's right there. Uh, that didn't help either. You'll see it on the, on the back end view. But he's right in the middle of all this cluster trying to break out. Now you see the number nine in the middle line, right there by the eye. Now, with, initially when he was ready to throw, those guys, were, those guys weren't open. But by him extending the play, maybe people, making people miss in the pocket, now look who's open. You got two guys open. He takes his time, delivers a strike, and you get a touchdown out of it. All because he extended the play. Him extending the play, his ability to do that is, whew, is what's really, I think, going to help him at the next level. Because a lot of times, top picks don't go to teams with good lines, and his ability to make throws outside of the pocket, they re that's really going to help him. Really going to help him. Now, look at his arm talent right here. This is the throw that got me up out of my seat. You get Again, you get more man coverage. He's going to throw the slot fade to that kid right there. That's what's coming. Slot fade to that matchup. Bam, bam, turn it loose. Watch him, watch him. Hold on, let me go back. Watch him look off the safety and try to hold him in the middle of the field. That, that Things like that don't get noticed. Because he, again, this guy's in the middle of the field. Now, he's not on the formation. The formation, he'd be, if he was on the formation, he'd be down here in the hash. He's in the middle of the field trying to, you know, trying to play the whole thing. Watch Bryce look at, look over here to the left to try to hold him. Gonna, gonna look in this area right here to try to hold him. And then go back to that slot fade. He holds him in the middle just by looking left. Holds him in the middle. Nah. Quick throw. Now he can't get there. He's not allowed to help. Get a good catch. And it looks great from that view. Watch where this ball is placed from this end zone view. You can't throw this ball in a better spot. You cannot put the, you could you couldn't walk out there and drop this ball in a better spot than when Bryce throws it. And I didn't I didn't count count the length of this throw, but let's just watch. Look where it is. Outside and away. Dropped in the bucket. You can't get a better spot. That's to the 20. He's on the 45. Or the other 45. It's like a 35-yard throw. A perfect throw at that. Look at the placement. Look. That's decent coverage by the, the Tennessee guy. She dropped in the bucket. Incredible arm talent. Incredible. Let's go to the next one. Now, at this point, you can see Neyland Stadium is rocking. You can see the vibration from the video. They are rocking all hundred and some thousand people of them. Look at that. Look at his ability to extend the play. And throw a strike. But what I love about it is, is this little, this little subtlety right here. Let's see if I can get to it. Makes this guy miss. But he, he squares his feet. I mean, he squares his shoulders and resets his feet in order to make a good throw. He don't just make him miss, then try to get rid of it. Watch him reset his feet. Watch. Reset my feet, turn my shoulders, and make a good throw. With five guys closing in on me. Delivers another strike. Great mechanics. Even outside of the pocket. Again versus Tennessee. We got two more. Ball placement. Ball placement. And it looks like a normal catch. It really does look like a normal, you know, a guy tries to knock it down catch. Watch the ball placement. Watch the accuracy. Watch the arm talent. And this throw is outside the pocket on the run. Look at that. <laughs> look how close that is. 
I thought I paused it. I guess I did. Look how close that is. Watch how close this ball is to being tipped. Let me see if I can do it frame by frame. Look how close that ball is being tipped. It might have been tipped. Doesn't look like it, though. Tight end comes down with it. <laughs> it wasn't a lot of bad marks I could put about Bryce Young because he he does a lot of stuff right and at a high level. At a high level. Not saying he's perfect, but he does a lot of stuff right. And this is the last one we got for, for Bryce Young. Again, in Neyland Stadium, still rocking. Oh, I guess they still call it Neyland Stadium, Neyland Stadium in Tennessee. I know they used to call it that. Mm. Mm. Mess making plays outside the pocket. Because I'm telling you, if he go to one of those, those uh, high pick teams that don't have an O-line, he going to have to do some stuff like that. And, and you may say, yeah, this ball wasn't caught. It wasn't. But again, they got a pass interference. And with that being said, because he extended the play, you get pass interference in the NFL, you get the ball on the one because of this. Not 15 yards. That's why I put this on there. The, his ability to extend plays and, and get opportunities like this, and they got a pass interference on this play. So now, instead of having the ball on the, let's see, the 20-ish, whatever, they got on the one. And then, you know, a lot of teams can get it in. A lot of teams can get it in front of one. I don't think the Ravens can at certain plays, but a lot of teams can get it in from the one. So, um, this is an incredible talent, man. Bryce Young is is a Heisman winner already. It ain't, ain't it's not much bad I can say about the kid. I really love, I really enjoyed watching this tape. I really loved it. There are so many players that I could have picked out from Bryce, but these are seven that really just kind of stood out to me in the four games I watched. And again, I watched Tennessee, I watched LSU, I watched Mississippi State, and who was the other one I watched? Texas and Texas. Let's get to Bryce's scores. Arm talent, touch, IQ, and extending plays. For arm talent, 69. Touch, 65. IQ, 73. Extending plays, 79. Pocket presence, 76. For a total score with more safety tallies, first quarterback of 2023, 72.4. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. This is my two cents on Bryce Young. Uh, make sure you come back to more Simply Tyler for more draft pro prospects. I think next up is Will Levis from Kentucky, another quarterback. So be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified when that Will Levis video drops. And um, if you have not seen the other two videos I've done so far, I've done Will Anderson from Alabama, and I've done Jalen Carter from Georgia. So thank you for coming. God bless you. Good night. Peace.